Ahoy hoy, I'm Planner Walk, and recently I had a, well, I can't really call it a debate, it's more of a shouting match with Right the Hand. Let you explain it, I'm going to explain a unicorn. Okay, let, so let me ask you, if I, if I am looking... Don't ask me a question, because if you're okay, asking this, me, you're this is, demonstrating in reality. Okay, we need to make sure don't that we understand me, things that it... Hey, 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 hey. Listen, little boy. Quiet. Little, little boy with a little mind. Listen to my words. I am listening to your words. You are not listening to mine. Now, people may be wondering, why didn't you mute him? And the reason why was because I knew what was going to happen when I muted him. Let's take a look at what did happen when I muted him. You cannot. Okay, so if I watch a rocket going up, right? And if God is... No, God let me finish! Real, so if you interrupt me again, I'm going to mute you. Walk. I don't give a shit about your rocket. It goes up, it comes down. No, if you if you interrupt me that fucking matter to go around matter. If you interrupt me again, I'm gonna move the full rocket. Go. You only have a rocket. I said, as I said, if I if you interrupt me again, I'm ah, uh, he left. <laughs> now all I was trying to do was I was trying to ask a very simple question, so that we could understand each other because that's kind of how debates work. You want to understand each other. Otherwise, it's not a debate. And also, asking questions is a great way to verify that the other person is actually listening to you. So, what was this question that I was asking which was so difficult that top genius right the hand had difficulty answering it? If I am watching a rocket going up, right, what's happening to that rocket? So very clearly, that is a difficult question to answer, but fortunately, right the hand did manage to take a stab at what's actually going on here. We've went over this 15 times. Yeah, I'll go what? over it again with the little boy who's too slow. The it is a simple... Up, this... The rocket comes down. Okay, the okay. The rocket goes up. The rocket comes down. So even though his answer was pretty much saying, oh, rockets are like yo-yos, that wasn't really what I was getting at. You see, I made the erroneous assumption that right the hand would be able to understand something basic like, if I drop this, what is happening? You know, it's falling. But, right the hand would say, you pick it up, it falls down. So naturally, I had to ask the question again, but in a way that right the hand would actually understand what I was getting at. So my modified question would have been, if I'm watching a rocket that is going up, what is happening at that particular point in time? And the answer, of course, is the rocket is going up. Ah. Then the question becomes, of course, well, what if I'm watching a rocket go down? What's happening to the rocket at that particular point in time? Well, it's going down, of course. Now, he actually did get that indirect messages, so good on him. He might be able to start fifth grade soon. Now, here is where I actually get into my point. What direction is this rocket going in? Now, by the looks of it, it appears to have an upwards trajectory, so therefore, it's going up. So what about this rocket? So as everyone can see, that is clearly going up, right? Well, what about here? Is it going up or is it going down? Now to me, that looks like it is going downwards. But what if I told you that that rocket actually appears to have an upwards trajectory? You see, that clip that I just played was actually the same rocket at the same time from the first clip where it appeared to have an upwards trajectory. So real quick, I'd like to give Where's Wally a shout out because I got this clip from his channel, so a link will be in the description. So this clip raises a very important question. How can this rocket appear to be going up for one person, but appear to be going down for another person that's in a different location? And ultimately, this is what I was getting at, because if we establish that things that appear to be going up are going up, and things that appear to be going down are going down, then how can something both be going up and down at the same time. You know, I don't think that quantum physics has advanced far enough that we can actually develop Schrodinger's rocket. Now the solution to this is very simple, right? The rocket is going in the same direction regardless of where you view it from, but where you view it from has a different up to where another person might be viewing it from. And if your up is not the same as another person's up, then a rocket that may be appearing to go down for you may be appearing to go up for the other person. Now in the context of the debate, right the hand was asking for proof of orbits. 
And I think this is a pretty good evidence for orbits. And the reason being is because that rocket is behaving exactly as you'd expect from something that is starting to go into orbit. But anyway, that's it for this video. Initially it was going to be a takedown of right the hand, but I thought I should separate it into its own video seeing as a lot of flat earthers do make this claim. They say, oh, rockets never actually go up into space, they just go up and come back down. Well, they don't. But anyway, leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell notification if you like this video. Leave a comment letting me know what you think. As always, a big shout out to my $20 lot more patrons. The Sun Express, What Jesus, Fight the Flat Earth, Holmes, Hugh Jars, MC Nutkin, Robert Legier 3, Wolfie, String News 1, Ash Panash, Curtis Reynolds, Curry New Yorker, Leo Banks, One True Chaos, and Sisyphus. If you want to support me financially, you can do so on Patreon. Link will be in the description. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. Between you and me, thank you for watching.